give the information? Jesus. Jesus dream him. And give him the information. As our authoritarians are um, cult leaders, they create a fictional persona to present themselves as saviors. You see? So what them do? Like Donald Trump. Donald Trump created a fictional persona to present himself like he might go save America. So he come with a slang, make America great again. It's a fictional persona. You see? And the people buy into it. And what you have to do now when you create that fictional persona, you make sure you say you poison the followers of the cult or the people who join the cult. You have to poison their minds against any. form of um, counter-argument, any form of disagreement, any form of non-believers. So when you create the personality there and you create your audience and them create them audience, they make sure so them label everything with them deemed to be enemies are enemy with some form of negative um, epithet or some form of negative slang are them vibeless. So case in point, Donald Trump would have said fake news. The reason I'm saying fake news, yeah, he knows that the media is going to be, I was going to be his number one enemy. Some of the creator slang named fake news. You see? So whenever the news put forward anything, whether it's true or whether it's not accurate. Accurate. The followers are the people who join the call just jump out. Fake news. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to listen to them don't listen to no voice of reason. Them just everything them just label fake news. And them just see you as an enemy. So even if you're not an enemy, you know, the fact that you have any form of pushback against anything, anything. Even if you agree with 99% of the things that they do, and you just disagree with one thing, you become an enemy. You're going to be labeled, you're going to be targeted, you're going to be stigmatized, all of them things there. Because the fictional persona that was created was created in a sense of I'm going to save, or to present itself like I'm going to save the world. You see? And that's why so much people love Jesus, you know. Again, creating a fictional character and present it as a savior. So you people will kill you for Jesus. You see what I say? People will kill you for religious deities. It's fictional personas people create, you know. And because the people that will create these fictional personas, even biblical characters, you know, they created these fictional personas. Yeah, and they make you fall in love with it. Because it is presented as a savior. You see? So people attack anything we try to go against what them deem to be um, a savior or what them, tend, them think is going to come save them. You see? It's like Mark Golden, in my view, created a fictional persona. Jamaican people know things that Mark Golden are going to save them from Andrew Wilness. So they start saying, Andrew Wilness is a slave master. So they come and they put chain around big stone neck. It's a fictional persona, you know, they create and pretend to be a savior or present themselves as saviors, you know. Like we know the upon the earth long enough, you know, say, none of the party them really, really, not really are going to do. Um, much different, but we just go with the one with the better policy. Choose the better of the two evil. You see, can we know, say, these people, them work under the British mandate. Or the monarchy. Them, it's not like them can't even do much. If any law a pass or any um, budget reader, them want to implement whatever them want to implement in a society. They must go to the general, governor general. If Andrew Wilson get fired, they have to go to the Governor General. 
If Paul and Lou didn't forget fire, they must have got to the governor general. When Mark Golding was chosen to be the leader of the opposition party, the governor general had to sign off on it. It's not like the people them choose Mark Golding. But the governor general, yeah, the people them choose him, but the governor general could have said no, he's not qualified. And that would have been the final say. You know what I'm so in my view, even Mark Golden now, you see, so much people will attack you if you disagree with anything that he does or anything that he... You see? When do you not agree with? People will attack you like, yo, that's your mother. <laughs> like them, people want to kill you. You see? Because fictional character is being created or, being cre or, or was created to present itself or, it, or himself or herself or themselves as saviors. It's happened from time to time. King Leopold killed 20 million people because Belgium thought he was going to be the savior. So him go get rubber, forgive them for them motor vehicle and them bicycle and all them things there. Even though he was in Africa cutting off people's hands and, and assassinating over, assassinating people because they're not turning in enough rubbers. Because they saw him as a savior. And people just accept whatever evil they do. King Selassie, I, but the rest of them are going to burn me out for that one, yeah? Fictional persona, people deemed him as a savior. So it never matter what Selassie I do, to the quote unquote Ethiopians, them, when him deemed to be his enemies. You see? Famine. Our enemies them there. And the people them just work with it because, uh, uh, again, them are try to stop this savior from slavery. So them people there, we are suffer famine and Selassie and I look upon them. And the Rastafarians them because they see Selassie as a savior, them turn a blind eye upon anything where you have to say about Selassie. If me say thing about Slasia, a man come style me, call me, wall bag a shaking name, what's S my mother, man want to kill me, man want to, man and I say, all you to me, when me, when me watch grow up, we turn Rasta now, I send threat to me. Fictional persona, presenting itself as a savior. So there's nothing you can tell a Rasta man, we believe Slasia is God. You see? About Slasia, even the fact say, he was a part of the campaign to get rid of Patrice Lumumba in the Congo. He never he, he sent the Ethiopian Air Force, you know, as part of the, 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 um, the team, yeah, on the ground to protect the interests of the, um, the Belgians or the Europeans. And that's why I'm saying the, the, the Ethiopian military. A part of the operation where them, where them created to make it seem as if they were trying to bring peace and stability. That was no peace and stability. It was a plot to kill Patrice Lumumba. You see? So that is what Happens when people come in the name of I'm gonna save you. And Serpy is one of those people. Whether I'm right or I'm wrong, it no matter to his audience. And that audience has grown from from we were talking about it and pointing it out that this man is in my view a separatist. This man in my view is an instigator. This man, in my view, is stirring up old feud and pinning youth and youth against each other. Nobody paid any attention. No, it's too late. Because he presents himself. Because he presents himself to be what? A savior. And he said it. He said you will look back at the old Jamaica when you when the new Jamaica will be the new Jamaica. You know, this man is is basically 
promising people that they're going to have a new Jamaica. And the way to have a new Jamaica is not to go after the root of the problem, is not to go after politicians, is not to go after the corrupted justice system, is not to go after none of that. The way to have a new Jamaica is to go after the ghetto youth them. Because they are the ones who are clearing the guns, they are the ones who are, you know, running for, 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 for seats, they are the ones who are representatives of the communities. Yeah? They are the ones who are getting the money to do things. Yeah, attack them. Like when them dead, or when them send go kill the dande, or when them send go kill the man they were, them already had enough of him, and now he becomes a threat to them, them send go kill him and put somebody else in that place. But you cannot say this without getting pushbacks or people just when I was tired to see, you know, long live, you know, on a bad mind, yeah? Go find something to do with your time. Fictional persona presenting itself as a savior. I can't go against the savior. No matter what you tell black people, say nobody's coming back to save them. Them think Jesus is going to come back. Them actually have all of the Bible scripture them with them put together and them recite them every day. Jesus is going to come back and save us. And your name cannot be saved. You cannot be saved under nobody else's name. You can't be saved under your mother's name, your father's name, your sister's name. Nobody else's name you can be saved under. Only the Savior. The Savior. Fictional characters. You can't point out no inconsistencies. You can't point out no fallacies. You can't point out no misinformation. Because you're going against the Savior. But look when the look when the, 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 the cult was put look when the, they were building the cult. Look at this. I listen to this. Listen, 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 listen when the cult are built. You see? Listen when the cult are built. And you're going to be labeled as somebody who's trying to destroy Jamaica. You are not going to be labeled as someone who's trying to destroy Jamaica or mash up Jamaica. Or you don't want good Jamaica because you point it out. But listen before the cult grew. Listen, listen, listen this, listen. Only is crime and murder. Much worse than we think, right? As bad as the numbers be, we hear every year the 1200 and 1300, the real figure is much higher than that, right? We're also starting to see that enough of these cases, a matter of fact, the majority of these cases, if people would just talk to the police, if people would just give certain information, enough of these people would at least even talk to the police, if people would just give certain information, enough of to the police, if people just give certain information, no talk to the police, if people just give certain information, no for these people would at least, even though they might not get found alive, at least their family would have closure. Because that is the worst part of somebody going missing. That before the cult <laughs> grew to the, the point now where this message not mean anything anymore. But when we say, why not turn the information over to the police? No, oh, oh, police them now, do nothing. police them corrupt, the police them are wicked. I know you. <laughs> but look how it starts. Look, look at, er, looking early, at earlier days. Looking earlier times. You see? A lot of these cases would have been solved. A lot of these missing people would have been found if you had turned the information over to the police. Or cooperate with the police. <laughs> but now that is poisonous. If me and you say that now, it is poisonous. For me and you to say, then why him not turn over that information to the police or the information we have to the police? Why what, what you talking about? Yo, you bad man. Go sit down. Everything him say 100% accurate. He must have posted 
um, a poll, 60%, 65% of people believe that he's credible. 100% credible. So no matter what you say, what you say is not important. Because the Savior, no matter what the Savior do. Remember, say Jesus did say, you know, or the Bible say, you know, Jesus came with a sword to turn mother against father, sister against brother, to divide. Remember that the Bible say, you know, but people don't care about that part there because a Savior came. And a Savior is coming back. And a man came to save us from our sins. So with him, if we sin, we can be forgiven. When God can just kill Satan. <laughs> And get rid of sin completely. For I'm so love the world. But why? If me say that, I'm going to be ostracized from society. Become me ungodly. Fictional characters or personalities presented as saviors. But you hear him say, when people not giving the information to the police, So in the case of him and bright light. Zem so said bright light is the one where I cremate people body illegally. Strong, right? But there's no evidence. So we don't know if I true or lie. Because there is no evidence. So we have to just accept what him say and we have to just start look for bright light as a criminal. Whether I'm innocent or guilty, we just have to just accept it and just say. Is a criminal. So 65% of people who think that he's 100% credible are always credible, are mostly credible. Then believe a bright light is a criminal. Say so me and you say, we don't know if I'm a criminal. We are anti srp We are anti-peace. We are anti-better Jamaica. Because we don't say I'm a criminal too. So in constitutional rights is not valid are 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 you know he's not privileged to his constitu constitutional rights because him guilty before he innocent so you can just put it out there and just no evidence no nothing this man a cremate lizard this man cremate um um the the the, the Nick photo work and we, we, feel that we must just accept it because if you reject the information or if you ask some more evidence or if you ask why not turn it over to the police as we him did say a few years ago. People are not turning over the information to the police. You see? You are going to be what? Ostracized. And stigmatized. And bullied. And called out. And put in your place. And if they had the will, killed. Because you are now a threat to the Savior's mission. You know that Hitler did do? You know that King Leopold them did do? That is it, you know. And so politics did start, you know, in a Jamaica, you know. When they formed politics in Jamaica, I'm paying two white men against two white men pretending that they were feuding. And then black people join in and start feuding with each other. And we start killing off each other for two white men. Who pretended to be saviors or were presented as saviors. Is that them do it we you know? And it's something that always catch us, you know. Why think we're going to slavery? Nobody wanted to fight back. Some, some white man just come and just give them a Bible and just say, yo, give us your land. Give us your land and you're going to be saved. And black people just say, yeah man, we're going to be saved, you know, yeah man. We're going to a place with milk and honey. And they take the Bible and bow down and I pray. You see, I can't uh, bishop to it. And by them, the whole of them, the ship. And the whole of them land gone. But how we know some of them stories, yeah, you know, is plausible. Because we see it still happen. We still seen it. When 
The black man is just selling out just like this. For the white man. Case in point, Candice Owens trying to come back now to the cookout. But she didn't have a problem with a policeman standing in or kneeling in George Floyd's neck. She pointed out that he was a criminal. And now she wants us to invite her back now to the cookout. Because them boof her. And remind her that she's a Negro. Remind her that she, she's a Negro. So now she wants to come back over. Like she for, like we must just forget. You see? That she was cheering for the team that was okay with a police officer kneeling in a man's neck. Because he was a crackhead. Because he was a, a, a robber. Because he went into someone's home under highly influenced drugs and did some illegal thing and went to jail for it, prison for it. And now she wants to come back over. So we know some of them story that when the white man, you know, presented himself as a savior and gave us a savior on top of that. You see? It rings true because we still see it happening. So, Sir P, back to him. Or back to it. Because we don't know if a man or a woman. Or a robot. That has been uploaded. Information has been uploaded to. But you will kill me for it because it's a savior. You don't even know what it is, you know. As a man named, the Rasta man named Maurice something said, it will stand up right beside you so you mustn't disrespect it. Even that, that he's proliferating, you know. The Rasta man here tell you, so you must be fearful of it. And that is what Hitler them do, they did. That is what the, 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 um, the authoritarians they did. What them do? They make sure so people spread that information. You must be fearful. That's why God did tell us, say, the, 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 you know, you must fear him. Them say knowledge begins with the fear of God. No one must fear somebody will love me. Why should I fear somebody who want the best for me? I don't fear my mother. I never fear my mother. I never fear my father. You see? Because I know them love me, they're not going to hurt me. So a man, a rasta man, I will tell you, you must be fearful because he can be standing right beside you. So I'm already deify that individual or that person or that thing. So you must be fearful. Be careful how you attack animosity. Be careful that uh, be fearful because he can be standing right beside you. So you cannot speak your truth. Because if you speak your truth and point out what people may be thinking, you're going to be what? Ostracized. And they're going to remind you, so you must come off of the internet and go out and make music. And I'm going to remind you, say so they get boxed down or box up or kicked down or whatever happened to you. So they're going to remind me now, so they'll be a motherfucker for me. Because, of course, I must be fearful. I must follow the cult or join the cult or shut the fuck up. So we can't point out nothing that we find troubling. You see? So the man has come out and has dashed out something. You have a bright light of a, a cremated people. Hey, that. October the 5th, 2015, Nick Photoworks and his cousin, Dwight Brown, disappeared off the face of the earth. Now, there are many theories surrounding what happened to Nick Photoworks, right? Many rumors, right? People say my man did an argument about money. People say in the picture of this and that. Listen, I'm going to tell you what the police them actually have, right? So I'm not even going to address the rumor because based on how I heard them, it's nothing solid enough for me to run with. So the last place Nick and his cousin was seen alive was a community by the name of Kesha Park, right? That's um, coincidentally the community where I did the video about the videos were done. And the, yeah, that Kesha Park cousin was seen alive was a community by the name of Kesha Park, right? That's um, coincidentally the community where I did the video about the videos were done. And the, yeah, that... Kesha Park commander, um, the, the area where he might at least try control, right? So the last place I'm seen was in the Kesha Park area. Nick and his cousin, Dwight, were seen arguing with several men. Several, not one or two. There was a big argument. Next thing they know, 
on Wednesday, October the 7th, because remember, him was missing the same day, people see him, and him and him in an argument, right? On Wednesday, the 7th of October, right, they found the BMW that Nick owned. But them couldn't find him or his cousin, the white, right? Now check this out, people. Even though they were reports that them see Nick and several men in an argument, nobody has come forward to give up the name so anybody with them say they can name cousin or argue with because it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know or to at least come to some kind of conclusion that if the same day we see you and a group of men argue at the same day you disappear never to be found again then the man they may argue with would at least well very likely know something about what happened to you but as usual when it comes down to giving information, when it comes down to giving names, who need to argue it, right? Everybody, deaf, dumb, and blind. That was three years ago. His Intel placed Nick at Ke in Kesha Park three years ago. And his Intel is from where? The police. Three years ago. Three years ago, Nick was in Kesha Park, according to his intel, arguing with his cousin and some man, three years ago. And he was imploring people to give information, come forward, work with the police. Information updated. Did he go to the police? No, because he have him cult base. Where them hunger is more important than the truth. Where them hunger is more important than your rights. You don't have no rights. Once you get called upon the platform there, everybody believe. I remember say we not say a lie, and we not say a true. We say we don't know. Because they say we don't know. Imagine we, imagine we, we the critical thinkers now, we have to say, we don't know. So when we see bright light now, we have to just look at the man and say, you know, say maybe true. You know, say maybe lie. We don't know. Bright light, you know what? Me don't want to do any business with you. Because me don't know. You see that? No evidence. So me no know. But it's fast forward to know how the story changed. We can't get new information. But listen carefully. You know, I kill the white. If then he say, yo, go link up running so that no come line on. So me can do white now. I don't blink up with the man then. Nick in the car and do it gone in the house with the man named Grant Talk. When they reached in the house, it wasn't a negotiation, but nothing friendly. It was murder time. So the man named start stab up the white. Nick was in the car outside. No, it occurred to them. Right. Nick and do it come. Dwight going to the house. No, Dwight did. Then obviously Nick no said, I must we kill him. So them send the Nick on that style. Like a wild day, then kill off Nick. Nick wasn't originally supposed to dead. Then kill off Nick. Nick died. Like a wild day, then kill off Nick. Like a wild day, then kill off Nick. Nick wasn't originally supposed to dead. I do I then want to kill. But after killing Dwight, obviously there's a whole witness outside. We come with Dwight, and they know Dwight dead, so we have to tell him, say. And now you're hoping, say, in keep him out lock. And then people in the light deal with the hope thing. So we tie up them loose ends, them kill Nick too. Somebody who them know very well. Somebody who them laugh and run joke and skin teeth with a million times. So, it wasn't good.
That's new information, you know. So, a few years ago, his intel was from the police. Or his information was from the police. And this new information now that came out last week, that he put out last week. You see? I guess it's a new, it's, I guess it's an update. But him not turned over to the police, as we did say years ago. Him turned it over to what? The cult base. Because the hunger for meat, red meat. And nobody can question who give him the information. It was not a criminal that gave him the information. You know who gave him the information? Jesus. Jesus dream him and give him the information. The person who get the information from not involving a criminality. Him does get the information from an innocent stand, um, a bystander. You see? Yeah. So he moved now from Nick being in Kasha Park arguing with people to now Nick. This is how I tell you happen now. He said, this is how it happened now. This is how it happened. Nick took his cousin. Minimum location, I guess, would have been Catburn, Pen, around the side, like around the side. Where did they made that thing come from? They took him there. And the man, them take him cousin at the house and kill him. And the member said, Nick outside, not the car. So the only way these men could get to the cousin is to make Nick them friend bring him come. And them never did want to kill Nick, but them say ratted. You know, say Nick in the car sent for him and kill him too. Then who gave you the information? The person who gave you the information, what a person they did? Did that person, was that, is that person involved? In the killing of Nick. Was that person. The one with the knife. Was that person. The one that went and took Nick out the car. And carried him back inside. Because this year. Is like when the disciples them. When never going to the bush with Jesus. Wrote that. Jesus was doing this and that, and did I talk to him, Father, and did I tell him, Father, say, him nobody want dead on the cross, and nobody went with him. Nobody not going to bush with Jesus, but of course, as the Savior, you can't question it. Nobody went into the bush with him, and he was in there talking to his Father in heaven, but yet still somebody write and tell me where Jesus did in the bush, I say, and nobody went into the bush with him. So of course it's not nobody were involved in our Nick's death. Tell him the story. Is the Holy Spirit. Is the Holy Spirit because of that them tell us say when they question anything about this Savior, the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, we're not privileged to the Holy Spirit. So we not get no message from the Holy Spirit. No critical thinker, no logical thinker, no one who question religion, no one who denounce religion can get any information from the Holy Spirit. Only believers. Then if them don't believe already, why you still try to convince them? And me if you convince. But of course, if me and you say that, we are what? Public enemy number one. So we can't question this. Who gave you this information? It's who we are protect? Who are you protecting? Huh? Why you are you giving plea deal? You are giving plea deal? Let me ask a question now. Then if you get information and this information is something that we are supposed to accept and go by this information, then you don't think it would have been better? Um, for the family to know what really happened if you turn this over. It, it would have been better for the family to, you know, you know, hear exactly what happened and who this person is. We are telling the information here. Yeah. Would have gone to the police and give the police the, you know, and they can investigate and bring closure to the family. You know, things like that, that makes sense. You just throw it out there so we don't know who you get, 
who you get information from? Oh, Anonymous. So Anonymous, where did they? How oh, them never kill Anonymous too? How oh, them trust Anonymous? They trusted Anonymous to the point where they never kill Anonymous, but them kill Nick. So if them never kill Anonymous, it doesn't mean that Anonymous was a part of it. Know what it mean? Obviously, if Anonymous was not killed, Anonymous no must be a part of the team, or whatever, the gang, or whatever, the group, where you talk about, we kill Nick. So we will never know who is Anonymous. But we're supposed to think that Anonymous is one of the innocent bystanders that had nothing to do with it. But they sent for Nick in the car because they were afraid that Nick would have given out the information that they killed his cousin. But you can't question that, people. You can't question that. If you question that you are against a better Jamaica, you're not supposed to think logical if you're a black man. You're not supposed to be educated if them have you as a fool. They want you to continue to be a fool. You're not supposed to educate yourself. You're not supposed to ask a question. That's why them tell us, Adam and Eve in the garden, a man and a woman, God took a rib, make a woman, one man and one woman in the garden, they made two sons, one son killed one, But yet still the other son find a wife. <laughs> when are they the first four people on earth, according to the, the interpretation of the doctrine? Four people on earth. You see? Husband, wife, two sons. You see? But the matter said it was not incest. He never sleep with the mother. We populate the earth. The mother said he went and found a wife. But yet, see them tell us that Adam and Eve was the first two persons on earth. We were the two first persons on earth. That the matter, you know. If you question it, Facebook block you. Instagram block you. Them report your page. Fictional characters presenting itself or themselves or his or herself as saviors. That is it. You can't question this. Then I will tell us a serpy. I will tell you what go on. Oh, that person there is the Holy Spirit. <laughs> the person at the Holy you get every, you get the information and don't to you know everything so accurately said. Precisely, you have it play by play. They took Nikos inside, started stabbing him up, so the person now is inside seeing the stabbing. Are partaking in the stabbing. You see that? And then them realize that Nick outside, so the person inside now, when them realize that Nick outside, oh, by the way, I'm a village liar, people. Broad village liar. Yeah. Good old village liar. So let's look at it from the village liar eyes. This is what the man is saying, or said. Nick and the cousin drive up, Cause the man them use Nick to bring the cousin. Oh, you know that. So the person a part I planning to. Other person that is more than an eighty-seven, so him can know all that detail. Eh? So how can a people are linked with brother? So we can know them too. So we can know them people we are linked with too. Because this person knew exactly everything that happened before Nick them even reach. Oh, they wanted to get to Nick cousin, so them link Nick for bring him come. Nick bring him come. Them take the cousin come out of the car, go in them, never know say I kill them, I go kill him. Him go in there and think say everything good with him and the man them. When him go in there, the man them start stab him up. Stab, 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 stab. The member said Nick outside of the car, send for Nick outside, take out Nick. Out of the car, carry him inside, stab, stab, stab him too. 
Then Bright Light took the body and cremated it. Then Bright Light took the body and cremated it. Pardon. And what do you think happened? He makes sure he show you a picture with Bright Light. Well bleached out. White. And he show you the black picture too. So of course your mind already poisoned. Against Bright Light. Bleach out man. You see him look like a ghost? Of course. You can't see this man and look upon him as anybody with that innocent. He look like ghosts. He bleach out. He sh dip on video at all. Hey boy! You know who me? You, you, you idiot. <laughs> you have got things that this man is innocent. This man is already... You see? You see? You see? When you see bright light, you have to ask a question. You see? You have to ask a question. Oh, this man is innocent. This man is not innocent. And like you say, so why is this so hard to believe? Of course, if you just accept it and believe it, because it's not hard to believe. Because of course, you know hard to believe. Because if you see a man looking like this, you can't find it hard to believe. You just not have no evidence. You know you know evidence. You just believe it, don't it? You say, why we find it so hard to believe? Oh, because if you just accept it, because it is it is coming from the Holy Spirit. We can't question it. Just, if you just accept it. Alright. <laughs> yeah, we believe. We believe. We believe. Yeah, man. The man, the man a criminal. We believe. We believe. We don't need no evidence. Just like we don't need no evidence of no deity. So them existed. We don't even need a grave. For one of the... Profit them or anybody in the Bible. We don't need nothing. Even when we have evidence of mummies and Egyptians, when them dig up, King taught them, we predate biblical characters. You see? And them tell us, this is King Tut. And them do carbon testing and tell us, this is King Tut. But all the other deities, them are the prophets, them are the biblical characters, them. You don't need no evidence. Why is it so hard to believe? Who woke you up this morning? And if you go against that, you're ungodly. You're evil. You're the devil. Of course, just believe. So why is it so hard to believe? You don't need no evidence. Of course. That's, this is all we need. We dance all crowd. Who let our boy them is sneak? Right. People them who even tell them family keep the look you know march and tell them walk on up ask some questions and put up some signs to Nick. Now for them who go there and talk about oh we love Nick, how miss Nick, them know exactly what go on. Smile with these people never say. Snick, them know exactly what go on. Smile with these people never say. That crowd that answer people they were still that I walk on and talk about oh Nick 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 we miss Nick and let's support the family. Some of the wickedest people they never say. Because they know who kill him as soon as he's dead. Fans of people they wasted did a walk on that about oh Nick 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 we miss Nick I'm less about the family. Some of the wickedest people I've ever seen. Because they know who kill him as soon as he's dead. <laughs>